better than Derek. It, and it was very hard to, to, to do it. Um, I'll just read it to you. My beloved son, I can, cannot express how sick and depressed I am over losing you. But there are no words. I hate myself because I should have done more to prevent this. I should have taught you how to make better life choices. <laughs> and, and, the, and the consequences of those choices. It's your it's my fault that you're dumb. And I don't know how I'll ever be able to live with this. Your mom and your sisters are devastated, of course. You were the light of everyone's life. I haven't told Drew because I can't find the strength. More guilt here. We were supposed to raise him together. I'm too old now to do a good enough job. I needed you to help me. And I don't know what's going to happen to your little brother. I'm so scared for him and his life. I really can't write this letter. It's too much for me. It's all the little things about you that I love so much, that I will miss so much. I will never ever be able to watch a basketball game again without thinking of you and how much you love that game. I'll never be able to watch a James Bond movie again. That's always our favorite thing. And I don't know who's going to play with you. Because I'm not even good at that. That's the thing about you, Derek. You are so full of life. And everyone loved you so much. You all were so broken down without you. I just thank God for the 18 wonderful years that I had you in our lives. As I said earlier, this is too hard for me. And I don't have the right words to explain how much I love you, other than to say that you've been the very best part of my life. And I thank God for you have given me. And you will be in my heart every waking moment for the rest of my life. Our final speaker is Katie Meister. Ms. Meister is the proud mother of four children and a wife of 16 years. She values the importance of safety and her ability to educate or help youth learn the importance of, her, of their decisions. She will tell you about her experiences when she lost two high school friends to drinking and driving. Ms. Meister? Thank you all for having me. I just felt take a deep breath. Yeah. Get ready to cry. As I was sitting here, I was reminded myself of my senior year of school. Gathered in person assembly. And in tears, because we had a casket right with us. My friend Richard tore our town apart with his death. An inexcusable drinking related accident took his life. A life of promise, a life that touched all of us. As I was sitting in a senior assembly, recognizing our two friends in the past, mourning their loss, asking myself, is this ever going to stop? I am sure I was not the only one that day wondering, will I be next? I felt overwhelmed with sadness and fear. How could I, one person, make a difference? How could I possibly prevent another senseless tragedy? At 17 years old, a senior in high school, I made the decision that I would never get in a car with someone who had been drinking. I made the decision that I would always provide a sober ride to anyone who needed it. I made a choice that would lead me down the path of helping others to stay safe. I decided that I would never drink and drive. I would never let a friend drink and drive. I would always be aware of other drivers. And I would have the courage to report a drunk driver, even if it was someone I knew. 
I decided that someone had to be the voice for those of the lives we're taking. Whatever you do, don't give up and don't give in. It is far better to see your friend angry with you in the moment instead of seeing them in a casket. Most people, when sobered up, will appreciate the effort you went through to keep and them and others safe. So what can you do, one person? Remember that you matter. Your responsible and mature actions matter. Your choices and decisions matter. It only takes a few seconds to make a choice that can affect you, your friends, your family, your school, and your community. When you make a choice to stop a drunk driver, even if it is yourself, you have knowingly made a difference. Maybe you would have had an accident and killed yourself. Maybe you would have killed somebody else. Those two events would matter to others. And the fact that they didn't happen speaks volume about you and your mature and responsible choices. Our 15 minutes is almost up. What you will all receive in your government classes are toe tags. These tags can be removed with the string to not be a toe tag and to be a key tag, to remind you to get a ride, to stay alive, to don't drink and drive. I encourage all of you to stick these on your keys. It is better to read it on your keys than have your parents read it on your toe. Every 15 minutes, a friend can say stop and no. Every 15 minutes, a friend can take the keys or offer a ride home. Every 15 minutes, a friend can stay the night or call for help. Every 15 minutes, a friend can be courageous and can save lives. Every 15 minutes, a friend can make a difference, a responsible and mature choice. Every 15 minutes, a friend can keep others safe. Every 15 minutes, you can be that friend. Decide, thrive, stay alive, don't drink and drive.